I've come to the conclusion that there are two perceptions of reality. There's a religious perception of reality and there's a spiritual perception of reality. The religious perception of reality is about guilt, sin, and blame, and that's the trap. That's the chains that holds every citizen. Spiritual perception of reality is about responsibility. We're all responsible. We're not guilty, we're responsible. And it's trying to make our way through these two perceptions of reality. That seems to be the biggest problem we're confronted with as human beings on the planet right now. Because the religious perception of reality is, talk, is about dominance. It's not about, it's not about responsibility. It's about subservience and male authoritarian figures. And the religious perception of reality is about life, and respect, and responsibility. I think that we have... I think that the New World Order is marching on. You know, I, I, to me, in my own mind, it comes closer and closer that that it, it is very real that even though Germany and the Axis lost World War II, I don't think that the Nazis did. I think that the Nazis won World War II. And I think that their authoritarian methods of behavior control, mind manipulation, converting human spirit into energy so that they can feed the need for their technology. I think all of this stuff is just moving right on down the line here. And, and, and I think that there really is no political solution or an economic solution that exists right now. And I think that we need to get a clear perception of reality and where we, where we are in reality and take responsibility. And by using our intelligence, intelligently, create the solutions that we need to create because right now, I mean, it's just, we're just more fuel, you know, somewhere, somewhere under the religious perception of reality, a decision was made that the earth was the dominion of man, and man, man therefore could plunder the earth, that man could take whatever they wanted from the earth. But somewhere in the progress of this mindset, man has forgotten that we are part of the earth. And just the way that this system, that technology man has devised to take the resources of the earth and turn them into fuel, and energy. They've taken our spirit and they're returning it through the process, through their process of civilization, taking our spirit and turning it in to energy to run their system. We need to remember that what happens to the earth happens to us. You know, and I'm not advocating anyone's politics or any of it. To me, it's just all, you know. So I think that we've got to just continue to do the best that we can do. And that's what I'm trying to do.